Hello friends, this video on is matter around us part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have seen matter can be classified into pure substance and mixture. Also we have seen that mixture can be further classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous. Let's do a further classification. So if you see matter is classified into pure substance and mixture. Mixture is further classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous and further classified homogeneous mixture into solutions colloidal and heterogeneous into suspension in fact uh, there is a doubt actually some people say that colloidal is part of heterogeneous some people say colloidal is part of homogeneous but i believe it is uh, more it more looks like a homogeneous solution to me we will discuss this part this is a little uh, debatable topic But as a whole, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture can be further classified into three other broad categories. Solution, colloidal particles and suspension. And if you see, actually, we'll talk about this later. Just understand that, remember this term, solution, colloidal and suspension. And in all these, the key factor which is different is the size, particle size. So here, in solution, the particle size is very less, less than one. The diameter is less than one nanometer the colloidal size particles are little more 1 to 1000 nanometer and the suspension the particle size is all the more more okay example of solution will be you mix salt and water if you want the example of colloidal the best example is milk milk in water or the milk itself is a colloidal solution but if you want you can dilute it a little bit and uh, if you want the example of suspension, a good example is mud and water. And we will see that because of the particle size, they have different physical property. Okay, so we will further classify. Now just understand that, you know, I mean, even if you don't understand, I just uh, try to remember these three terms, solution, colloidal and suspension. And understand that these three classification is actually based on the particle size the particle size is the milk part when i say particle in this sense for example in the salt and water solution i'm talking about the salt particle if we talk about the milk and water i'm talking about the milk particle if i'm talking about the mud and water mixture i'm talking about the mud particle so depending on the size of salt particle milk particle and mud particle we further classify these uh, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures into solutions, colloidal and suspension. Okay, so we'll take one more activity to first try to prepare this uh, uh, solution and see how they are different. So what we'll do is uh, we will first uh, take some uh, maybe chalk powder or we can take some mud or wheat flour or some soil and mix them in water. Take one glass of water and mix it you'll get something like this in this case you will see most of the particles if you are taking chalk powder or soil or the wheat flour is settled down and some of these particles will be in the solution so looking at this you can say it is a heterogeneous why because if you take a sample from here and sample from here the composition will differ so it's a heterogeneous mixture but in heterogeneous, what kind of you know, mixture it is? It is suspension, it is colloidal, you don't know. This just hold on. In next case, oh, let me write here. This is mud plus water. Now in this, this case actually, if you use a filter paper, here if you use a filter paper, then what you will see here is, so if you filter this, you will see that the mud particles is collected here and the water particle will come here so you collect the water here and you see the mud particles could not pass through filter because the mud particle size particle size is big right since the particle size is big it could not pass through filter paper and thus you will see that these mud particles or if you have taken wheat flour or chalk powder those things will be collected here and the water will be filtered. 
in the next case what you take is you take some milk and mix with water you will get something like this now in this case you try to filter you will see that nothing is collected here because everything will pass through filter the filter people will not be able to block the milk particles so we can say that here particle size is small correct in the third case what you can do is you can take some copper sulfate or common salt if you have NaCl let's take NaCl or NaCl or sugar also you can take and mix with water so you will get something like this here also if you try to uh, filter it with filter paper you will see that nothing is remaining everything is filtered that means here also the particle size is particle size is is small right since the particle size is small all the particles could actually pass through the filter paper if the particle size is big it will be it will get blocked with the filter paper just imagine so this is like uh, these are the filter paper and if the particle size is big this much big will you think it will pass through this filter paper no if the particle size is this big will you think it will pass the filter paper yes same thing so if the particle size is big it will not be able to pass the filter paper so in this case we have seen that in two cases the particle size is small one case the particle size is big okay and these two looks homogeneous homogeneous and this is also homogeneous okay now and this is heterogeneous so now we have seen that we have told that suspension is heterogeneous so from this you can directly say suspension this is suspension why because in heterogeneous there is only one for the subclassification that was suspension out of these one is colloidal and one is solution we have to tell what which one and if you see both in both cases the filter paper test is failed right both the solution it passed the filter paper so we have to differentiate what should we do now out of this i am telling you one is solution one is colloidal so what we can do is now we can try using the laser beam so we try to use a laser light actually you will see that in these two in fact this one is riddled out this, in this case the whole light will be dispersed it will be the whole light will be dispersed it will not show that it will affect in the case the whole light will be dispersed anyway know that so let's, let's focus on these two this anyway something we know right so we'll chalk on this part so we'll pass the laser light in these two you will see that in solution d where we had uh, milk plus water right or you can take ink plus water you will see a ray of light here a beam of light here sorry this is a beam of light but in this case where you have uh, common salt and water or sugar and water you will not see any beam of light so with this you can say that this is colloidal and we will talk tell you why so this is the Tyndall effect and we will talk about this thing in detail so actually in this case the particles are not small actually these are very small okay and these are small this has maximum size particle, this has minimum size, and this is somewhere between. So if the size is somewhere between, these particles actually reflect the light. And since it reflects the light, you see a Tyndall effect. But in this case, the particles are very, very small. Since the particles are very small, they can't reflect the light. See, for a light to reflect, the light should hit the particular surface and come back. Right? The particles should be a little bigger. So the, these are the in this case the particles are so small that light cannot actually uh, hit it. It cannot, it, can, it cannot uh, reflect the light. So we don't see this effect. This is called Tyndall effect. We will see anyway. We will understand this uh, Tyndall effect in detail. So with this, now you can see that we have three different kind of mixture, right? We could we have produced colloidal mixture. We have produced suspension mixture and we have produced solution mixture as well. Okay, 
so the milk and water was collided the common salt and water was a solution and mud and water was suspension right so with this if you do in your home you can pause this video and you can actually try out this experiment in the home and then you will get feel of these kind of mixtures or this kind of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures and then you can continue this chapter thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again